Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I want to show you how to get started with Flipgrid. Flipgrid has become a very popular tool in the last year for having students post video responses to a teacher's prompt. So let's go ahead and get started and sign up for an account. So let's sign up for free. Now we're going to sign up using one of my dog's names and email addresses for the sake of demonstration. And we're going to use a free account. And let's say that he's teaching high school. Put in our school name. And we can specify the subject if we'd like to. Uh, let's say history and social studies. And create the grid. Now a grid is essentially a classroom. And you can have as many you can have one classroom or one grid and within that grid you can have as many topics as you like so again grid equals classroom in a free account you can have one grid within that grid you can have as many topics as you would like to post so let's create our grid and we'll just call this one mr finn's class now there's a grid code. The grid code is what your students will use to sign in and post responses to you. Say this is for video reflections. Now you can write up to 500 characters or 512 characters in your description. I'm going to keep it short and sweet. Now you can password protect your topics if you would like to. You can allow your students to download their videos if you would like. Uh, we also have this caption option. And you can choose a banner image if you would like. You can upload your own or you can pick from you know, the gallery of pictures. Now let's create the grid. So now we're going to create a topic, and a topic is the discussion that's happening within our grid or within our classroom, if you will. So my topic is how do you use technology in your classroom or in your class? I'll just leave it here. There's our display date. Now, we can turn on response moderation if we would like to, and depending on your students, you may want to do that. I'm going to turn it off for now, so I'm not going to moderate responses to this at the moment. In the free account, you can have a response time of up to 1 minute and 30 seconds, or you can cap it at 15 seconds. And now, here's my, here's my question. Now we're going to make this active. We also have a frozen option in which we're not going to accept any more responses from students. We can also make it an inactive. I want to leave this one active. And you can see here, if I upgrade to the paid plan, I can freeze when the topic will end. Otherwise, I have to manually go in and change change it to frozen. Now, I'm going to record a video here as part of my topic prompt. You can see we can also use uh, uploaded videos, videos from YouTube or Vimeo, upload a picture. Let's record the video. And let's record it right now. Hi, I'm Richard, and I would love to hear how you are using technology in your classroom. If you can 
share a favorite example with us, I would appreciate it. Thanks. Hi, I'm Richard, and I would... And let's put in a little Christmas theme around me. Put a bow around my head if I like, or a wreath around my head, I should say. There we go. All right. So there's our prompt. You can attach a document if you would like. Now our response options for students. They can put in stickers and drawings if, they would, if you want to. You can also turn that off if you think that's going to be a distraction for your students. You might want to turn that off. Uh, emoji reactions, if you would like. Okay. Again, you can turn that off if you think that your the students will get distracted by that. Uh, you can require email in order to respond. And you can make your response link public, private, okay, or none at all. I'm going to make this one public because I'm going to share this in the blog post and in the footer of this video or the notes of this video so that you can try it out. Now let's create the topic. So now all I have to do is give a link to this topic. I don't even I'm even going to put this one on Twitter right now. Now I'm going to say how do you use technology in your classroom? Please share on this Flipgrid. So there's my link. We'll tweet that out. So now we're just waiting for responses to come in. You can see we don't have any responses yet. I'll demonstrate how a student will respond to this. So a student goes to the link that's assigned to this topic. Then he, he or she can click and record. My favorite way to use technology in the classroom right now is with virtual reality to show students parts of the world in more detail than is available in a book or even in a traditional video format. So that's what I'm excited about in 2018 and using technology in the classroom. Now you see I still have plenty of recording time here, uh, but I don't need it all, so I'm going to click next. My favorite way to use. And again, we can put a picture in. And then I'll have to enter the info. And there's my response. Now, of course, this is a response to my own prompt just as a demonstration. But you can see how that works now. On the teacher side of things, we'll see the first response that has come in. So that's your introduction to Flipgrid. I think it's a wonderful tool for having students post video reflections to prompts that you give them. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out practicaledtech.com and freetechforteachers.com.